In computer networks, we go through the entire internet protocol, the internet architecture, and the uh, five layers that we use in the internet, and review a little bit of the seven layer network stack. But our focus is going to be on the internet, and our focus will be using a top-down approach. So we'll begin by spending a week on the application layer. We'll develop uh, web services, we'll develop a web server, and we'll develop some simple email application programs. With those programs, we can realize what are the services that we need at the application layer and how those could be provided by the lower layers. We'll then move to the transport layer and we'll see that in the internet today, there's the user datagram protocol, which basically provides a layer that has no reliability, no flow control, no congestion control. And then we'll see how those could be added into a user uh, transport level protocol. And we'll review TCP, which does provide reliable data transfer, flow control, and congestion control. Now, once we've seen what the application layer provides and what the transport layer will provide underneath that, then we go to the network layer, and that provides the core internet architecture. We'll review the internet protocol, and we'll review the routers that are used in the core of the network and how messages are routed. After we're completed with the network layer, we'll move to the data access layer. At that layer, we're at the MAC layer protocol, which is every device on the internet has a unique MAC address. And we'll go into the internet architecture and network um, architecture. And we'll compare how that's done on a landline basis, mostly using Ethernet, a very successful protocol. And then we'll look at Wi-Fi, how with a different problem using mobile devices, we'll get a different network architecture. So in this way, we can see the entire network architecture in the internet and understand what services it provides and how we would be using it and in what kind of architecture and design patterns make the internet such a successful architecture.